Today we're diving deep into xerophthalmia in animals. It's a condition you might encounter more often than you think. Let's get started. 0010. First up, what exactly is xerophthalmia? In simple terms, it's severe dryness of the eyes due to a lack of vitamin A. This condition can lead to corneal ulcers, keratinization, and even blindness if not treated promptly. 0025. Now let's talk about the etiology. Xerophthalmia is primarily caused by a deficiency in vitamin A. Why does this happen? It could be due to poor diet, malabsorption issues, or even liver disease, which hampers the storage and processing of vitamin A. 0040. Next, on to pathogenesis. Vitamin A is crucial for maintaining the health of epithelial tissues, including the cornea. When animals lack this vitamin, the epithelial cells start to keratinize, leading to dryness and thickening of the cornea. 0055. So, what symptoms should you look out for? Typical signs include a dull or cloudy appearance of the eyes, excessive blinking, redness, and in severe cases, corneal ulcers. Animals might also show signs of discomfort or pain around the eyes. 0110. How do we diagnose xerophthalmia? A thorough eye examination is a must. Fluorescein staining can help identify corneal ulcers. Don't forget to check the animal's diet and history for any signs of vitamin A deficiency. 0125. Treatment options are pretty straightforward. The primary goal is to restore vitamin A levels. Oral or injectable vitamin A supplements can be administered. For immediate relief, artificial tears or lubricating eye drops can be used to alleviate dryness. 0140. Prevention and control are key. Ensure animals are on a well-balanced diet rich in vitamin A. Regular checkups can help identify early signs of nutritional deficiencies. In regions where xerophthalmia is common, consider prophylactic vitamin A supplementation. 0155. To sum it all up, xerophthalmia is a serious condition, but it's manageable and preventable with the right approach. Stay vigilant, ensure a balanced diet, and always be ready to diagnose and treat promptly. 0210. That's it for today's video on xerophthalmia in animals. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more veterinary insights. Thanks for watching and take care of those furry friends.